Hello, I'm John Stapleton with Code VA, and this is a quick tutorial on using variables with uh, Twine in the chapbook story format. Let's get right into it. Uh, I got my Twine editor up here, and let me just make a quick uh, story. So variables are a way for us to have the computer remember information to insert into our story uh, and remember that information in a way that is like invisible to the reader. Uh, so I'll, I'll show you an example of what I mean by that. And then I'll kind of briefly explain why <laughs> this would be useful. Um, so uh, let me, I'm gonna say a cool message. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll talk about the formatting here in just a moment. This is an example passage. Uh, so I have a passage here. You might notice some notation differences from what you might be used to. I've got this two lines divider here. And I've got this stuff up here, which is like that turned blue. What's going on with that? You might have some questions. Um, I'm going to run this so you can kind of see how the computer interprets this code. Ah, this is an example passage. You will notice that the computer does not show anything above that two dash divider line. So some some terms, some vocabulary. We've got the vars section, the variables section, uh, which is anything above this two lines dash. The computer is not going to show anything in the vars section in the passage itself. Um, this line is what we would call a, a variable assignment line. But basically, uh, we have two parts. We have a variable, and this variable is named a cool message. And we have the value assigned to that variable, which is hello. A variable is sort of like a container, and the container has a label on it. Uh, in this case, a cool message is sort of like the label for a variable container. and the container can contain values inside of it. And right now, or rather a value inside of it. And right now the variable called a cool message has the value hello. Now, uh, what a variable can do uh, is represent its value. Uh, and I can have the story use the variable's value by inserting it. There we go. So we have a sentence, and then I have this curly brackets area. And inside the curly brackets, I've put the name of one of the variables in my story, a cool message. When the computer interprets this part of the code, it's not going to show the name of the variable. It's going to show the value inside that variable. There we go. The variable is hello. Even though my passage says a cool message, this uh, Twine is interpreting this part of the code as the value assigned to that variable. Now, that is uh, <laughs> all well and good. Um, if you're used to use kind of like stories without variables, this might sort of be like, why am I introducing this complicated thing? Trust me, there are a bunch of ways to use variables. This is a very like helpful topic. <laughs> and there are lots of tutorials that I can link in the, in the description that sort of get into that. Um, but for now, it's enough to know that, like, hey, this is a variable, it has a value, the story can insert that value into the story. Um, you can do uh, all sorts of things with variables. One thing that's, that's nice is you can reuse variables, uh, which is nice. So if I had uh, a, a sentence sort of like, uh, how much would Chuck would. So that sentence uh, has a bunch of opportunities for variables. We have a creature, we have a material, wood, and we have a verb, chuck. And um, what I can do is have the uh, have twine insert those values into the sentence um, by using the variables instead of using the material, uh, instead of using the uh, like the text. Bah. Woodchuck, instead of woodchuck, this would be creature, creature, new material, uh, and then we have verb a couple times, verb, 
verb. And now you, each time the uh, sorry, I'm gonna, I'm gonna open this back up so we get the syntax highlighting. There we go. Um, each time that the story uh, that that twine rather interprets these variables, it's gonna insert the value I've declared up here. Yeah, that's great. Now, another thing that's really crucial to understand is that these variables apply to the whole story. Um, so if I wanted to have another passage, um, let's make a let's make a link here. If I wanted to have another passage, um, I could I could have uh, you know the, the story use that creature variable. And even though the creature variable is declared, it's assigned its value in a different passage, uh, Twine will still interpret interpret it. So we get all of our information. And then over here, what is a woodchuck? Because woodchuck is the value assigned to the variable called creature. Excuse me. Right? So the a computer inserts the value creature into that spot. Uh, now, there are a couple types of variables um, that might be useful. Uh, there's uh, the string type of variable. Let's call it a string. And strings are text variables. So this is a string vari type of variable because it is text. And string type of variables always have quotation marks around them. So that, that's how the computer interprets them. You can also have uh, like number type variables. So this is a, a number type variable where you have the, the word age, and then it's assigned the number 15. Number type variables don't have quotation marks around them, and they're sort of special in that the computer can do math with them. Like, that's another tutorial. I'll link it down in the description so you can kind of <laughs> uh, do, figure that out later. There's also uh, Boolean type variables, which have uh, two possible values only. So this variable called has key is Boolean. It can have a value of true or a value of false. And you can insert these uh, variables the same way as uh, the string type variables. It, it'll still uh, insert them into the story. Um, and there are tons and tons of different use cases for this. Uh, variables can be used like keep score. They can be used to change out information in the story as the reader navigates through the different passages. Uh, tons of different use cases, definitely worth learning. <laughs> Check out the other videos in the description to see some like examples of how you might use variables. This is a super, super important programming concept. So I think that is just about everything there is to know about the basics of using variables. Now, this is just the basics. <laughs> I've left out a ton of information about how to use these types of variables in your stories. So I recommend you check that out. Check out the videos in the description. Lots of examples about how to use variables. You can check out the uh, Twine trail guide, uh, which has uh, examples. It has text that you can copy and paste into your stories. It has images, screenshots uh, of this tutorial and other tutorials. Check those out if you'd like. If you have any trouble with this concept, you have questions, feel free to get in the description below. We'd love to help you out. Otherwise, good luck and happy coding.